Arsenal beat Luton to go back top of the Premier League in an easy 2-0 win. Now with a very rotated team, a lot of players didn't really play up to their best, but Emil Smith Rowe got man the match on the day and was brilliant, really cementing himself with a chance to play at the end of the season. But what made him so good and why did he really excel, especially in the first half? Well, let's get into it. Now I was very happy with the team that Arteta put out. He did reasonable changes in the midfield and going forward, but didn't really change up the defence too much. We expected Zinchenko and Party both to start and they did and I think it was a very different dynamic. We had quite a lot of the midfield flooded with them three being in there a lot and obviously Smith Rowe. I was really happy to see Smith Rowe and Nelson start. I think they deserved it and I think overall a lot of squad players in this game sure showed why they were squad players. It was very flat for most of the game but we didn't play a team that really were actually trying to do anything and after we got our goals it basically was over anyway. Now this in the Premier League was the second start that Smith Rowe's had in that left centre mid role that it's been really effective he used it in the Brentford game and in that game he was a bit rusty trying to get back to fitness but I actually thought in the first half today he was exceptional probably one of the best players on the pitch I think against smaller teams this system does actually help Smith Rowe a lot because when he can get the ball up forward and actually mark plays inside their own third of the half it actually makes it very easy for him to win the ball back and with his dribbling ability and how he likes going in for challenges I actually think working close to players like Party and Odegaard really help him he can sort of take risks that he wants to take but it's not too detrimental to the team with players being there now in this game he was so confident the whole time he was really aggressive in the press when he needed to be and actually kept making sure the pass ticked over something i really like about smith Rowe is when he is substantially in the other team's half he will always try and make a pass that gives people space or puts them through and there was many times where he could have done an easy pass but he went for a bit of a harder one to maybe help odegaard get through and i think that was very encouraging and something that we saw quite a lot in this game was trossard would actually come a lot deeper because he began pressed by two players and then Zinchenko and Smith Rowe would go out there and help him and Smith Rowe would actually push forward into a more winger position to keep the ball rolling. As much as he isn't the most natural winger in the world I think Smith Rowe out there is a lot more comfortable ball than a lot of players that would play in that position from the midfield to the wing and there's a lot of times where Havertz would go out there and they'd do some good interchange and Smith Rowe would just keep making sure the passes ticked along and I thought he was really good in the selection that he used. But arguably his best work in this game was his off the ball movement I thought was really excellent especially in the first half now there's been a lot of criticism in this game about Thomas Partey not really having the off the ball athleticism anymore as there were some times where he simply couldn't get any close to the ball but I will give him a bit of a chance because he hasn't played too much this season Smith Rowe was very intense in the game when the team moved over in their fluid formation trying to be closer together and the ball was in one of the edges he'd make sure that he was in the middle making sure there was not many gaps for Luton to be able to pass through and this is how the goal actually happened we had our team press them into the right side and they try to play it through the middle and Smith Rowe does brilliant movement to try and close down the defender and midfielder when he is trying to turn and straight away he's on him like a flash he gets there gets the ball very quickly and this is very important with the amount of space that was actually there in the midfield and the fact that our defense had actually pushed back in this instance he's able to pass the ball off to Odegaard who does a brilliant one two with Havertz and then scores but he's the reason that goal and that move starts by making sure he wins the ball back sort of sneaking up to the player and being very quick in making a decision and I'd really like to see that from him and this wasn't the only time where his anticipation off the ball really helped us there was a few times even straight after this where Luton got into the box and he comes from behind the same player and wins the ball back making sure his movement and his tackle is perfect and this is something that can really excel one of the best things about his game is if he can keep this off the ball movement brilliant and making sure he's winning the ball back sneaking in there then he could definitely be a valuable option for Arsenal in that position in the future and we all know about Smith Rowe's quality with driving with the ball and especially turning in the midfield and it was very good in this game as well. There was many times we gave it to him inside the pocket and he'd turn his defender, he'd pass the ball off or as soon as he'd get space in that midfield with Odegaard dropping deeper to pick the ball up actually led Smith Rowe to have a lot of space in his side and you know how good he is at driving with it and I definitely took the opportunity a few times. And when everyone is a lot closer to Smith Rowe he definitely does a lot better. I think Zinchenko is actually very impressive in this game. I liked him inverted in the midfield. It gave us more options there and he also did very good overlapping play on the left side so we didn't always have to have Trossard the furthest one deeper because he doesn't really like pushing like that anyway and likes coming inside so this kind of worked and then Smith Rowe and Zinchenko could also play off that and play brilliantly with each other doing very many good passes and although you're not going to get this space against a lot of the oppositions in the Premier League I do see a potential of Smith Rowe being an option in that left centre mid and it's because he does play in the right position he loves that half pocket in between the wing and the midfield and I think he did that brilliant today there was 
a few times where he also got into the box and definitely should have scored but he at least he's getting in there and actually creating stuff and being involved with the play going forward I think that was one of the big problems of Havertz he'd do brilliant jewels in the midfield but wouldn't necessarily get forward or create much in that position but with Smith Rowe as a natural creator and a natural press with the ball it makes a lot more sense and he's able to pass the ball off and nearly score a few chances and I really liked in this game how Arsenal tried to make a lot of their players close to each other to sort of help them all out. Nelson came into the midfield a lot of the times and he did some interchange with Smith Rowe and Ben White went on the overlap but obviously you've still got Odegaard, Party, and Zinchenko also there and you know what Havertz is going to come deeper as well and Trossard's also going to come inside so there's always so many options going forward and I think this helped also be involved with the second goal. We pushed up a lot had a lot of players pressing the Luton team and they ended up putting two defenders on Trossard for some reason. This allowed Smith Rowe to basically have the whole box by himself but it's good awareness to still get in there and he takes his time while in the box and actually does a good pick out to Nelson who ends up missing it and it goes off for an own goal but he was involved crucially in both of the goals that we scored having a really good first half and despite the second half being flat overall I think for numerous amounts of reasons I think he still played all right he played a bit more elevated this time and Odegaard was a bit more deeper there was a few times where we found him inside different players trying to turn and do a good through balls it was just unfortunate that we didn't really have the right players on at this point. Smith Rowe was still very much in the game and doing a lot. And looking at his heat map, you can see he was in different parts of the game. He had 55 touches in the end, and most of them were round in the first half when he was in that left half space. But he also picked up different positions in the box and helped the team wherever he needed to go. There's points where he went into the right side as well, and I like that versatility from him. And despite Lou and not really having a lot of intensity and not really trying, it doesn't seem like Smith Rowe still had an okay attacking game. He made four passes into the final third, made five touches in the opposition box and ended up creating two chances he had an expected goals and an assist of 0.3 which he would have got if it weren't for the own goal and made 39 of his 45 passes and a lot of them were quite encouraging passes where he tried to make something happen and that's why they didn't even work in the first place so I still think it's a very good game for Smith Rowe now I expect Smith Rowe to probably be given another chance here if something doesn't matter but with the amount of games that are coming up and how stressful they are you probably don't think he's going to get much game time soon but I think of all the squad players that came in here at least to me was the most encouraging also I think Zinchenko is very good but we know Zinchenko can be great in these games against smaller teams so that's not really that of a surprise and I don't know if you would go as far to qualify him as a squad player right now but it is interesting to me that Smith Rowe would actually even play this game because I think that they prefer Vieira in the back room over Smith Rowe but I don't know if Vieira still got that knock and he's struggling but he was on the bench today and Smith Rowe is someone that looks like he's probably going to leave in the summer so maybe get his value up but he's still a very good player and could definitely be a great player in this team I just don't think long term it's really really what Arteta wants to move into but I think in this game he proved everyone that he's still got a lot of quality. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think Smith Rowe still has the potential to be a part of the team and how were you impressed by his performance against Luton? Let me know what you think of this video and please go and watch my video earlier where I did a review of the game against Luton in a whole. Thank you guys for watching.